Smith and keep an eye proceedings down there. Over to Dennis Committee. It must be Melbourne. Play it and they will come. James Allen and McLaren, the umpires this afternoon. Away we go. Hill slaps it down. Two occasions he's been looked for, giving him front spot. Henneman v Rocker. Rocker tries to pluck it out of the air. Knocked out in the end to Scotland Court. Gets a handball away. Buckley might conjure something. Gives to Lockyer. Shot at goal by Lockyer. The opening goal of the afternoon to Collingwood. Close to the boundary. Wakeland kicks it out of bounds on the full. Free kick. Essendon. Lloyd Essendon off. takes it quickly. The full forward to Lloyd. Gee, that was great work by Matthew Lloyd. He's not the greatest goal kicker on Essendon's current list. That honour with Paul Salmon. But Lloyd kicks it through the middle, 478 for his career. You're going to take a bit of me with you. Well, that's all about tough football. Quarter time of the MCG. Collingwood, they've had less of the footy, but they lead 1-2 to 1-1. To one, one. Checking the goal scorers, just two of them. Tark and Lockyer got the first. Matthew Lloyd responded at the other end. 1-2 plays 1-1 one, one at the G. Way through the first quarter after straining the AC joint. Haven't been able to get him back out after quarter time just yet. Start of the second term, Scotland taken down by Peveril. Amazing figures at quarter time. Five metres out. Hill goes down towards the pocket. Lloyd. With Matthew Lloyd. Going at his second goal. Essendon second. Reverse angle from the other side. Kicks from 45. Trying to will it back. I think he likes it. It's a goal. Great start to the second term for Essendon. Very high one through the wing. Knocked away from Freeborn by McCurry. Johnson going nowhere. Caught a tackle by Davis. Pinned one arm. That's the boundary. Jacobs knows. Holland is right behind him. Holland played it very well. Got it to Bethiris. Away to Davis. Davis, the defensive side of the wing, goes to half forward Scotland. And again, Collingwood showing this ability to maximise their chances. In short to Burns. Rock is loose in the pocket. Burns is about 60 metres out. High kick. Just hoping and hoping, hoping for Rocker. Couldn't grab it. Fletcher off hands. Snap it. Goal of Kyria. It's the post. But Collingwood's inside 50. A lot more dangerous than Essendon's last five. Essendon 120 possessions to Collingwood's 80, which gives the impression that they're overusing the ball and Collingwood's efficiency at the moment, keeping them in touch. Ball alive. McGough picks it up, snaps around the body towards goal and can't kick the goal in game number two. It's offline. Yeah, one of the defensive side of the centre circle wants to go, kicks it down towards half forward. Steinford can take it and go well. He judged he had to slide on his knees to mark it. Gets the hand pass away. Loney on the burst. Here's a wonderful kick, Loney. He's got it. Huge play, isn't it? Very close to half time. Momentum important. High bomb to the goal square. Up that fly. No mark. Cummings couldn't bring it down. Kick off the ground. hands to it, couldn't hang on. Henneman with the balance, breaks away. Kicks back to half forward. Going back, McKee with courage, met solidly. Gee, that would have hurt. Lloyd was charging up. McKee is cut badly. Will he get this one out in time? I don't think he will. He'll end at half time with eight, not nine. But that won't bother him because the scoreboard looks attractive for that man, Michael Malthouse, who has coached his way to a seven-point lead at the long break, and it will be a long break at halftime today, an extra five minutes for the ceremony of Anzac Day. Collingwood, 3-5-23, Essendon, 2-4-16. Start of the third term then, under the lights of the MCG. Thrown up, Hill goes up, directs it down, forced a night who's been good, tried to soccer it forward, so did Hill. Attempted a hand pass then, Lecuria fell on top of it. Coming out backwards, McGough held to him, says the umpire. But Blumfield, slick hand pass, Johnson's over it, tries to get a Heffernan. Oh, Interesting, the and they call it a throw. Pinned him, didn't he? He was right on it. That is such a valuable free kick, isn't it? Right in front of goal here, early in the third quarter. Let's have a look at it. 
So Heffernan, yeah, absolutely. Good decision. Fred Allen wasn't fooled by that. One of the best numbers in the caper, umpires in the caper, and uh, yeah, he was straight onto it. Go That's ahead. a throw all day long. Not this one. Go Next ahead. one coming up. <laughs> Ryan Russell's not happy. Well, Blumfield knew it was too. He didn't kick with any conviction. So Davis, 25 metres out, should kick a goal here to stretch the margin. It becomes a very handy one. Gets the goal. Pass away. Knocked away by McVay from Holland. Jason Johnson intercepted McGough. Quick hands away to Davis. Well, look at that for Cool. Mr. Cool. Davis swings around from right half forward. High ball. Nick Davis. Nick Davis was standing inside Dustin Fletcher. Fletcher had yep. Cummings and was inside Dustin Fletcher for a bit. The third term, Collingwood 41, Essendon 32. And this, one of the biggest of them, Davis kicks the goal, Essendon in trouble. Although well, he knew there was going to be a collision, if that makes sense. No doubt about that oh. as well. McGough, Lockyer, Collingwood terrific, kick well inside the 50. Fletcher works in front, could have been held without it, no free kick. Papyrus burns, this will hurt. Fraser inside the 50, Davis in front, had it knocked away by Blumfield. But is up again, Lecurious in a way on his left foot. Question of accuracy, doesn't kick it. Goes to Steinford, 20 metres out. Low trajectory, well that's doing it the hard way. I'd be suggesting just throw Lloyd and Hurd down there after this three-quarter time break, which is on us now. See if they can't create something. We're starting this final term on the bench. I find that surprising. 7-8-2-7. Start of the final term then. Collingwood in control, it seems. Heard. Sockers it forward. Loney at close quarters. Locked four minutes. High to the goal square. Big leap from Fletcher. Well, the opening goal of the last term. Well, within his repertoire, though, might be a defender. But normally an accurate kick. And the bombers are not done with yet. It's inside the 50. Good kick too. Cummings up. Couldn't hang on. Loose at the back. Showing great desperation. There was Henneman. Gone. Holding the ball is the call. It was great desperation. But once he got onto the footy, he had to move it on. It's a 30 metres out. 45 degree angle. The answering goal. It's close. I think he's got it. The answering goal is there. His second. Punch from behind. Diving through Buckley. This would be a miracle through traffic. Long bomb to full forward. Great goal. Oh. Captain's goal. It's hit the post. We all got excited. They got excited. No one's told them yet. It's, it's just caught a bit of paint on the way through. <laughs> and hence there's no zone because they're all hugging the skipper in the middle of the room. <laughs> it's pumping down again. Burns. Drop punt to the goal square that wobbles its way. A little short. And a mark's been taken unbelievably by Fraser. A grand future in front of him. The big stick's in front of him here. He kicks the goal that wins the game. My word, their application has been terrific. A famous victory. The siren at the MCG. Collingwood win 9-12-66 to Essendon 4-9-33.